Chapter 102 Mystic Crystal White Tiger Zhu Fangxin took nearly four hours to climb down to the bottom of the mountain. The base was very wide, at least as big as a football field. Although there were rocks everywhere, they didn't hide much of the view. The internal space of such a mountain was definitely not naturally formed, but it also did not seem to be man-made. From this, it could be seen that there must be a strange story here. Who on earth created such a large space? Zhu Fangxin carefully observed the interior of the mountain and noticed a huge skeleton not far in front of her. It belonged to a beast. From the shape of the skeleton, it looked like a tiger or leopard. This skeleton was at least 10 feet tall and 15 feet long, looking like a historical artifact. Zhu Fangxin slowly approached the huge skeleton. Although this behemoth was already dead, she was still in awe. She did not dare to rashly touch the skeleton, and only stood below it, looking up. Suddenly, an ear-piercing laugh sounded from the other side of the skeleton. Ha ha, it's actually the skeleton of the mystic crystal white tiger. Even the crystal core is still here. This crystal core must have taken at least a thousand years to form. Ha ha, God has been good to me. Hanji had not died after falling into the mountain. She had only been injured from the fall and had been in a coma for a while. When she woke up, she saw the skeleton of a mystic crystal white tiger by her side. Under the skeleton was a sparkling crystal core, making her laugh out loud in excitement. When Zhu Fangxin heard Hanya's laughter, she quickly found a place to hide. Then, she secretly observed Hanji and realized that she was smiling at a fist-sized white crystal. It emitted a strange glow and had extremely strong spiritual energy. At a glance, she knew that it was a good thing. She had just heard from Hanji that it was the crystal core of the mystic crystal white tiger. Furthermore, it would take at least a thousand years to cultivate it. From this, one could imagine how precious the crystal core was. Since she had seen such a precious thing, how could she let the enemy have it? Zhu Fangxin was thinking about what to do to snatch the crystal core from Hanya's hand. Unexpectedly, while she was deep in thought, she heard Hanya's cry again. Little bastard, quickly return the crystal core to me, or I'll kill you. Hanji had obtained a thousand-year-old crystal core and was too excited. In her lapse of concentration, the crystal core was suddenly snatched away. A thin, white tiger appeared out of nowhere and stole the crystal core from Hanya's hand. Then, it jumped onto the mystic crystal white tiger's skeleton and glared at Hanji, giving out an intense hostility. However, this thin white tiger was only the size of a cat. No matter how ferocious it appeared, in Hanya's eyes, it was still a small ant that she could easily crush. Little bastard, you're looking for death. Hanji was enraged. She ignored her injuries and attacked the little white tiger forcefully, striking at it with her palm. The little white tiger quickly dodged. However, its body was too thin and its stamina was insufficient. It failed in the process of jumping and rolled down from the skeleton. Although it was unsuccessful in its original move, at least it had dodged Hanya's attack. I want to see how many times you can dodge. Hanji attacked again. This time, she used a weapon and took out a dagger from her waist, throwing it at the little white tiger. The little white tiger did not have the energy to dodge. It could only lie on the ground and watch helplessly as the dagger flew towards it. Fear appeared in its eyes, along with tears. 